Warning, this video may contain graphic content, such as sexual scenes, violence, gore, boobies, and the rest of the fun stuff. Please be over 18 to view this, and don't say we didn't warn you little sinners. Endlessly searching for an original sin. So hey guys, welcome to Sinfully Fun Games. We're looking at Space Trainer. There's a lot of trainer games, aren't there? I'm gonna take a guess and I'm gonna say Star Wars. Star Wars. I don't know why this was sent to me. Wake up. Come on, princess, wake up. Oh, this is fucking special. What happened? Relax, princess. Don't you remember why you're here? I'm guessing this is early. This is probably still an early, um... This is still early in production. Leia frowns, thinking. I remember. B-spin, Darth Vader was there, and... Oh, no. Han. Yes, he was frozen in carbonite and delivered to Jabba the Hutt. And Luke? He dead. He is dead, murdered by Darth Vader. You should call me Star Killer. All right. I don't like Star Wars. We're going through this again. Luke, I'm I'm so sorry. Leia spends a moment mourning for her lost friends before stealing herself again. So, what are we doing here? I'm still not sure what is happening. You were captured, but I managed to save you. You've been in that Bacta tank for months. While you slept, I've been searching for a way to rescue Han and the others. I think I may have found it. Uh, let's get started. Okay, then. Your new clothes are in the box there. Leia bends over and checks the box. Absolutely not. I can't wear this. We have no choice now. There are Imperial agents everywhere looking for Princess Leia. We cannot trust we can trust no one. And if we do this right, we can rescue Han. How? I've been setting up our cover story. I am a new member of the Slavers Guild, and I have registered you as my personal slave. You are already entered into the system. You need to convince Jabba that the cover story is the truth. Everyone knows that Princess Leia of Al Alderaan, I know a little bit, would never become a slave willingly, so the more convincing you are, the more likely we can pull this off. Can I count on you? I don't know. I have reservations. Very well, I have a room set aside specifically for you, and the temperature will be kept warm enough. Think about Han and how much he needs you right now. If you can come up with a better plan, let me know. I have seems troubled, but shivers in the cold. Okay, I'll think about it. Hmm. Did you say something? No, carry on. I expect you'll need some rest. You should try to sleep. Right. I should try and wake up with a better plan. I should try and come up with a better plan. So this is obviously very early in production, so I'm not going to razz on the look too much, because look at Orange Trainer. It's the... Well, that went better than I expected. Really? It's almost like you expected me to fail. Do you think she suspects anything? Of course, suspicion is in her nature. Our job is to make sure nothing justifies her suspicion. It's time to explain how the tra- Why is there no music? What the fuck? They do not mind? No, okay. It's time to explain how the training will work with for your slave. First, she can expo she can be exposed to traits that you intend to train. As your slave sleeps, she will dream of her recent exposures, and the drug in her system will increase her desires. Examples are shown above in humiliation and exhibition. You guys really go all out with this, don't you? Neither desire nor exposure alone are enough to train your slave, though. Only through exposure and desire together can you increase her talent in a particular trait. 
the effect of both the multiplicity is really hard to say that word in this voice. Multiplicity no get that. Additional desire and exposure in a single trade will increase the particular talent greatly. So desire increases with exposure, but talent increases with exposure and desire together. Overly complicated. Got it. Anything else? For now, you should check on your new slave. As you approach Leia's room, you can hear primal moans echoing through the corridor. You peek into her room to find Leia laying on top of her bed, one hand thrusting beneath her skirt. What? You step into the room, catching Leia by surprise. What are you doing here? Get out now! I was just checking that you were okay. I heard screaming, so I came to check on you. Leia turns a shade of crimson as you leave and begins talking to herself. Was I really that loud? Things have changed since last time we looked. Your slave's desire has increased, but only in humiliation. You may also see that her humiliation talent has also increased, ever so slightly. In the right-hand column, this is due to her exposure to humiliation for two days in a row. Dude, you are making this so overcomplicated. Good job, at least you're trying something new. Notice, however, that exhibitionism was not affected this time. Talent is basically per per permanent, which is the overall goal of this training process. However, your slave desires will de decay over time if you are not actively training her exposure to that trait. Your slave's desires are not infinite, either. She will only gain a benefit from five desires in a single yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be the exhibition buddy. Good morning, princess. Whatever. Have you thought a better plan yet? No, I couldn't think of anything after. The silence drags on for several long moments. After what? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I promise I'll never discuss it again. If you give me an answer, do you want to save Han or not? She stands in silence, contemplating her future. We're just going to pay Jabba a visit. Besides, with our hyperdrive broken, we're stuck on this planet until it's fixed anyway. Fine. A quick look can't hurt. Alright, so we finally have a mission. Jabba is hosting a party. I love getting to do these games when they're still in early development. God, I love it. Just take a quick look around, see if you see if you find anything interesting, and we can meet back here. Hmm. What is that little stick figure? You glance around a little, having already scoped the place prior to her awakening, and then await her return. Did you find anything? Leia shakes her head. Han is in that very heavily guarded area, still frozen in carbonite. Still, we have to save him. How? We have no way in there. Well, there is one way. Jabba is holding audition for new dances. I won't force you to do that. We can find another way. No, this is the quickest way. We are here now, and we don't know how long Han will be stuck here otherwise. If you're sure, princess. The group of human and twilight dancers. Twilight? Twilek, dancers begin to practice the routine. You see another girl. She's performing with a natural grace. Leia is able to follow the routine, adapting to the changes in the rhythm of each song choice. Unfortunately, the other performers are far more skillful. Congratulations, Arika! Congratulations, you are a prime dancer for today. Prima Danza. The woman flashes a smile and walks towards you as the class breaks up. Oh, it's a woman. So, you are the new girl? What's your name? Um, I am a uh, no one. Well then, no one. I have some advice for you. Stay out of my way. Bitch. How rude. That would be uh, an exclamation point. I like her. She glares at you. Of course you would. Who is Arisa? She's one of our new dancers. Another slave? No, unlike you, she chooses to do this willingly. 
Leia glares at you again, seething with disbelief. I have a hard time believing that. Lena laughs. Believe, believe what you want. Many, including myself, choose to come here and dance for Jabba. It's a great honor. It would serve you well to remember your place. Leia lets her gaze drift to the floor. Yes, sir. How do we secure a meeting with Jabba? Jabba only sees those who have some value to him. This re- I re- <laughs> That was retard. This rich red of humanity is not going to win her with her current attitude. Listen here. When? How exactly? You need to learn Jabba's fit. You need to earn Jabba's favor. One way or another. Enter her into the slave competition or continue practicing for the dance auditions. She casts a disapproving eye over Leia. If you can improve rapidly, might I add, you may get what you want. Follow Arisa's example and you won't go wrong. Be warned, though. Arisa has her eye on the same prize and don't expect her to lose gracefully. Alina departs. Where were it so easy? Mission update. Earn an addition with Jabba. So, so far the game isn't terrible. It does uh, speed things up a bit, which isn't always a bad thing. Because really the story looks like it's still a work in progress. Definitely with the artwork and stuff. The artwork for the other characters, though, are very nice. The addition proceeds uneventfully. Leia, you are the prime prima dancer for today. Leah earns 106 credits and four reputation. As the class breaks up, Melina comes towards you. Your slave performed well today. Thanks. Can we see Java now? You still have a ways to do to go before that. You should consider other activities that your slave can perform to earn favor. Arisa approaches both you both furiously. I know what you're doing. I told you. I told you not to get in my way. Are you afraid of a little competition? Not even remotely. I'll crush you, little girl. Ladies, please, only fight over me. They both turn to you indignantly. Why do we have why don't we have a wager? The first to appear before Jabba wins. If I win, you jump in a rancor pit. A rancor doesn't scare me. Fine. When I win, you'll leave this place and never return. Arissa smiles at the terrified look on Leia's face. Prepare to lose. She storms off, knocking over one of the Gamoran guards. Gamorian guards. There we go. For some reason, the game wasn't going to proceed. Do you think I can win? Uh, I think she will play dirty. Oh, what have I done? New mission. Beat Arisha to 500 reputation with Jabba the Hutt. Let's see. Who is winning the bet? Okay, so Arisa has 40. Alright, so we have a lot of work to do. So as you guys can see, this is still really, really early in production. This was sent to me a while ago, so I'm actually kind of curious. Is there something I can help you with? Tell me about the broken hyperdrive. Oh yes, it was unfortunate that we were stuck here on this planet. Imagine the sort of trials we may be forced to undergo. Do you think they still pod race around here? Eh, no. Oh, thank God. Well, the hyperdrive will be fixed after your slave shows some cooperation. Is there something I can help you with? Okay, so this is... Oh, yeah, yeah, this is just an explanation of that. So it feels like there's a lot missing from the beginning of the story I'd like to see. The Lord Vader has ordered me to instruct you in the science of slave subjugation. I don't see the issue. Point a blaster and tell her what to do. You don't appreciate the nuance of the matter. The subject is resistance to normal forms of corrosion. I am intimately familiar with her responses to torture, and she would die from the stress placed on her heart long before she would betray her rebellion. The robot hums almost wistfully. 
Thankfully, that situation can be rectified now. What do you propose? We're simply going to test her reaction to situations. By putting her in situations where she can only choose a distasteful action in order to move forward toward her objective, we can help the conditions of this. There's lots of talky talk. So the game looks pretty good so far. Uh, I definitely probably come back to this when it's a little more in production, but I did just want to show this since we're back to Sinfully Fun Games. So thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody!